Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the sum of subarray minimums from lead code. This is a lead code medium and the number for this is 907. So in the given problem we are having an integer array ARR and we have to find the minimum B where B ranges over every contiguous array of ARR and since the answer may be large we have to return the answer to the module 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7. So suppose we have the ARR equal to 3124 so we have to generate all the subarrays and then take the minimum from each of the subarray and then simply add and return so we have all the subarrays here we take the minimum from each subarray you can see 3 1 2 4 then 1 1 2 and in a similar fashion take the minimum from all subarrays add it and return but uh, if you would be taking uh, generating all the subarrays and then taking the minimum from it it will be very complex and the time limit will definitely be exceeded so uh, we would use something as a monotonic stack along with a prefix sum pattern in this problem to solve the problem so we would need something like uh, we would take left of i array and a right of i array and these two arrays will be used to store the uh, first smaller element to the left and to the right of the current index i and uh, if we have the first smaller index to the left and the right then we can use the formula i minus left of i into right of i minus 1 to uh, efficiently calculate the number of sub arrays in which arr of i will be the minimum and then we can simply uh, then we can simply add the number of uh, sub arrays and then we can return i mean we can add the sum and we can return so let's see how uh, the algorithm works we are taking the same example as this one 3124 so first we will be initializing the two arrays left and the right so the left will be initialized with minus one because uh, we don't know what the previous element is to the left now and the right will be initialized with four that is the size of the array because we do not know what is the smaller element to the right of four so after this we have to also initialize a stack that will be keep uh, that will keep the track of indices in and this track will be kept in a non decreasing fashion so we will be iterating from the left to the right okay and we have to maintain the non decreasing order so initially when i equal to 0 the stack was empty we simply push arr of i onto the stack okay no problem we move to the next value when i equal to 1 arr of i is 1 now we see the stack top was 3 and we have an element less than the stack top that means that this will not follow the non decreasing order and we need to pop the element 3 that means the element at the top and we pop that and the left of i becomes the previous element that was minus 1 and stack now becomes empty and then we push the current element i we are actually putting the not putting the current element we are putting the index of the current element in, onto the stack and then we have the next i equal to 2 so here arr of i is 2 which is greater than the stack top which is 1 so we have to do nothing simply push 2 onto the stack then we go to the next i value which is 3 we have I, arr of i equal to 4 so the stack top becomes Four because we simply push it stack top was previously 2 now after this iteration the loop becomes left loop becomes 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 and 2 and the stack contains 1 2 and 3 now we have done the calculation from the left side now it's time for the right side let's see we clear the stack and we then we do the same same operations for the right as well we move from the right to the left push onto the stack check if the stack top is greater than the current element pop so you can do the same similar operations on the right side as well and then we can simply calculate using the formula as i told you this formula we can use on every for every particular index using the left and the right and then we can simply uh, return the answer by adding it so let's come to the code section but before that do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So, the first step will be to define the length. 
Now we have to define the arrays to keep the track of previous smaller and the next smaller elements. So we have defined the left and the right. Now it's time to fill the arrays. Arrays dot fill the left with the minus one, and we have to fill the right with the length. So the right is filled with the length. Now we have to define the stack as well. So uh, let's take uh, a DQ for stack. It will be of integer. Let's name it stack by doing new array DQ and generate type. Now since we have to uh, move from the left to the right and then we have to do the similar operation on the right to the left so we do i equal to 0 i is less than fill the length i plus plus and while we have to check the stack dot top if the stack but first we will check if stack is not empty so if the stack is not empty and ARR of stack top that is given by the peak if it is greater than or equal to the current element that is ARR of i then what we need to do we need to pop from the stack otherwise if the stack dot is empty if it is not empty we put left of i equal to stack of uh, we'll put this peak that is the top in this if it is not empty otherwise we'll simply put the current element onto the stack we put onto the stack now we have to repeat this for the uh, right as well this is for the left but before that we have to clear the stack here so we will do this st stack dot clear so i can simply copy this because this will not require many changes simply we have to change this part so int i becomes length minus 1 i is greater than equal to 0 i minus minus and uh, this will be the same stack is not empty and arr of stack dot peak is greater than equal to this this we can do is greater than here there we were using greater than equal to here we can use greater than only and we'll perform a stack dot pop and this becomes this will become right and this otherwise the same so okay this is for the right we have done for the right now let's define the mod int plus 7 this was the value I think and we would have a long answer that is 0 because the answer can be
now see we have to uh, do the total number of sub arrays where error of i is the minimum and then accordingly we have to calculate the sum uh, so we multiply the count by the value of the current position and we will add it into the answer and we have to return it by doing the mod so as i already told the formula to you so we will have answer plus equal to uh, this will be converted into long first and then we have i minus left of i into right of i minus i so this is the uh, what we were required according to the formula, formula then we do the mod here for this and we have to multiply it to the error of i value because multiple times if the same things occurs then we have to add it multiple times and once more we can simply do the mod for our safety and we can return from here the answer let's see if it runs fine or not some array uh, some error just let me check uh, dq is defined like this this will be int because the return type is int So runs for the sample test cases, let's run for the hidden test cases as well. So hidden test cases also pass with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. The time complexity for this solution is O of n because we are traversing the, uh, the array in uh, linear time twice, once here and once here. And the space complexity is also O of n because we are using two O of n size of arrays like the left and the right so this is the time complexity you can also check the C++ Python JavaScript solution by going to the solutions panel and check this solution this is my solution here you can go and check for the intuition the approach explained properly the code Java C++ Python JavaScript and yes do remember me to upload I hope the video helped you. Do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.